Hi, uh, my name is Kiu Yang. Uh, I'm a professor from the University of Alabama at Birmingham. So today I give a talk in this wonderful meeting, uh, which is about uh, how abnormal energy metabolism uh, involved in the development of heart failure and how uh, targeted to energy metabolism could be a, a effective therapeutic target uh, for treating heart failure. So uh, in our past study, we have uh, provided uh, definitive evidence showing that uh, the, some of the transcription factors controlling the, this energy metabolism in the heart, if their deficiency could cause major problem for the heart. For example, uh, when we get rid of PBAR delta or get rid of LXR, then uh, these two nuclear receptors, uh, they could cause major uh, heart failure uh, and also uh, we could see that because the substrate utilization have been impaired, so uh, fat cannot burn, so we could see uh, accumulating fat, fatty acid in the column myocyte. And also another major finding is that energy metabolism have been compromised in this uh, animal model. So, um, and we further uh, looking at then if abnormal of, uh, energy metabolis metabolism in the heart could be a a cause or a one of the consequences of heart failure, then whether we could intervene intervene this uh, energy uh, metabolism abnormality. So uh, one of the uh, major therapeutic targets have been proposed in the last uh, 20 years is to inhibiting fatty acid oxidation and then uh, hoping to uh, increase the glucose oxidation, which is you could use uh, less oxygen and could be more uh, increased uh, cardiac efficiency. So however, we, uh, we have a animal model uh, uh, with a partial deficiency of one of the key enzymes involved in the fatty acid oxidation, and we're showing that as when we subject those animals into a pressure overload condition, when the heart, the workload in the heart is increased, those animals actually develop a major uh, heart failure. And one of the main, uh, key features is that in those kind of myocytes, uh, lipid accumulating has become a major uh, problem. And some of the lipid species, especially like ceramides, are accumulating and killing cardiomyocytes. So obviously, at least the long-term use of uh, uh, those uh, fatty acid oxidation inhibitors may not be a good option. Um, so we, uh, then we're looking at uh, some of the, the uh, target, downstream target of those PPAR uh, transcription factor. And one of the, the uh, protein we noticed, even though th there's no function assigned to this protein, but uh, however, we, we discover this protein is abundantly expressed in the heart. And, uh, main, and, and more importantly, we found this protein is inter could be interacting with the, the major uh, molecular machine that making ATP in the mitochondria. So we uh, basically are, are studying this protein and we found it interacting with the uh, catalytic subunit of the ATP synthase um, and also could promote ATP synthesis and prevent too much ATP hydrolysis. So um, based on this cellular observation, then we generating uh, animal model. We basically using the the cutting edge technology, technology making conditional uh, transgenic overexpression and conditional knockout mice. And if we confirm the same finding in those animals, in the heart of those animals, when we overexpress this protein, we see that ATP synthase, uh, synthesis increase and ATP hydrolysis decrease. So as a, as a result that the ATP generation is more efficient. So uh, what it means uh, for, for the failing heart then, and we, we did look at um, uh, the samples in, uh, from uh, a heart failure patient and also from those uh, uh, hypertrophic uh, animal model, and we did find this protein is down-regulating in their heart, especially in the heart failure patient, uh, in their heart samples. This protein is dramatically decreased. And when we overexpress this protein in a mouse model, uh, already, already subject to uh, pressure overload, and, and we, we see that the upregulation of this protein could exert protective effects. So those, those animals uh, 
uh, resist to develop heart failure and have a, a better uh, cardiac function. So uh, basically, we conclude that uh, ATP synthase is a, a maybe a therapeutic target if we could uh, manipulating the, the rate of ATP synthase uh, by, for example, increase the rate of ATP synthesis and inhibiting ATP hydrolysis may eventually protect the heart from the pathological development in, the, uh, in heart failure. And we also look at the molecular mechanism. We think uh, part of the reason is because the, the upregulation uh, of this ATP synthesis and AT, uh, uh, decreased ATP hydrolysis could actually trigger uh, a serious uh, uh, reaction. For example, the, in upstream, it increased oxidative metabolism, and also because of the the, the rapid uh, uh, change of the uh, proton, it also increased. Uh, uh, that also increased the uh, autophagy rate, and that actually helped to get rid of those uh, bad mitochondria. So as a result, it could protect uh, kind of, uh, the, the, the heart from uh, uh, major pathological development.